May God bless you all. In today's sharing, we're going to talk about the Venerable Father Mariano of Turin. Now, as you know, on the 15th of March 2008, Pope Benedict XVI declared Father Mariano of Torino Venerable. And thus, in doing this, he acknowledged his virtuous heroism, in other words, his holy life. Father Mariano was the popular Italian priest in the 60s due to the fact that for 17 years he spoke to the Italian people from the television screen of the Rai, that is the national television station. He used simple and engaging language while addressing human and religious themes on successful weekly programs such as Father Mariano's post in the family and who is Jesus. Before entering the Capuchin order at the age of 34, Paolo Roizenda had been a Greek and Latin teacher for more than 10 years in various Italian secondary schools. He was extremely appreciated at a national level due to the commentaries he wrote on Horace and Cicero. At the same time, he remained a clear and coherent witness of his faith at a particularly delicate time for the church and state in Italy. In fact, as we know, he was born in 1906 and died in 1972, so he lived the difficult age of um, fascism in Italy. Now, since he had been a member of the Catholic Association, Azione Cattolica, since childhood, he has been taking an active part in many initiatives while being in charge at a high level. He also wrote hundreds of articles for various magazines aimed at the youth of the Catholic Association inviting them in a calm and engaging way to discover the beauty of their faith and live according to its demands. He considered himself a friend of Jesus who looks for friends for Jesus. Therefore, he paid enormous attention to his prayer life and daily meditation, preferring the Gospels and the imitation of Christ. Jesus was the greatest love in his life and he looked at everything through the eyes of faith. He always acting with spiritual motivation, he undertook all things with consistent faith. Padre Mariano wrote, My only desire which burns my very flesh uncontrollably is to completely do God's will without the imposition of obstacles by mankind. From this point, his intent path towards sainthood began, a state which he considered a duty and a possibility for all. It consisted of living the will of God to perfection, for it is the love of God and the love of one's neighbor which are the wings we use to fly towards sainthood. And this he wrote in 1937. He constantly repeated that the apostolate is the duty of every Christian because life is being an apostle. Only he who gives really lives. We are all in some way responsible for the souls which providence places in our paths. For the love of Jesus and following his apostolic belief, he insisted that his own behavior be consistent with the needs and demands of his faith and of Christian morality. This he did with, without entering into crisis or compromise, but with sacrifice and joy. When it became clear that God was calling him to the consecrated life, he didn't hesitate for a moment. He was encouraged in an extraordinary way by the intervention of Our Lady and by the promise of an apostolate above and beyond the norm. As a Capuchin friar, he continued in his work towards sainthood and his conviction towards an apostolic way of life. 
he began his missionary work by undertaking various types of job. Thus, now as a Capuchin friar, he continued in his work towards sainthood and his conviction towards an apostolic way of life. He began his missionary work by undertaking various types of job before dedicating himself totally to the word of the Lord in its many forms, in particular through the television. He lived simply but with such heroic faithfulness towards doing the will of God and exceptional love for Jesus, Our Lady and all humanity. It's interesting that Father Mariano wrote an interesting autobiography which is called Why I Become a Priest and it is a sort of an inquiry into late vocations a book he wrote which was edited by a friend of his, the servant of God, Don Giovanni Barra, and published in January 1955, right at the start of his mission on television. This fact would remark his very existence and leave a lasting memory for millions of Italians thanks to his very original greeting, peace and goodwill to all. So. As we know, the Venerable Father Mariano of Turin is an eloquent witness of what does it mean to be a herald of the gospel in today's world. A herald of the gospel thanks to television. So, Father God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood and the Holy Spirit, we thank you for the gift of Father Mariano. We ask you that through his intercession and in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood and the Holy Spirit, you help us to understand more and more the task of evangelization. Help us to be faithful witnesses of your holy gospel. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And may God Almighty bless you and protect you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.